that. I I would never recommend somebody to get married if they're not educated. Mm -hmm. You're you're going it's suicide. And and it's worse if it, if you don't get divorced. I mean, getting divorced is bad enough. It staying together and living like roommates and experiencing the loneliness that is in a relationship is way worse than being on your own, single. Yeah. Yeah. Way worse. Yeah. And and teaching your children that this is what relationships are like. Mom, mommy and daddy hate each other. Yeah. And they pretend to be together. And they don't get to date other people. And they don't feel expressed as a man or a woman. And they're completely let themselves go. And they've given up. And they're c cynical about life. No, that's that's a horrible price to pay yeah. for not getting an education. We talked about being the dog being on the leash Absolutely. and trained and not. Look at the difference. Look at the difference being trained and not. So, can you yeah. can you just describe that? Because I have insight into what you're saying yeah. that nobody else does. Yeah. So you know, I walk my my dog's fully trained, obedient trained, and I walk with him. He doesn't even need a leash. He's off leash. He's glued to my thigh, and when I stop, he sits and he does. He sees other dogs. He doesn't he doesn't do anything. So. And then I see other people, most people, run around with their dogs. The dogs pull on the leash, they're crazy. The dog's choking themselves. They're yanking their arms out. And dogs live 12 to 15 years. And they do that for 12 to 15 years. God damn. And I taught my dog how to heal in about 10 minutes. Chewy. Hey, Look at him. He's already coming. Yeah, he's over here. So Chewy is a, a Rottweiler, 140 pounds. And he has a magnetizing personality. <laughs> Okay. So you, you said you spent 10, 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, you know, it takes really 10 minutes to basically teach him how to heal. And people live their lives 14, 15 years having their dog pull them. And then they go home and they complain that life's hard. Life's tough. Life's not tough at all. People are tough. So that's the value of training. You train him for a little bit. You, you invest the time in him. And then you have your he's, he's pleasure for you know for the rest of his life yeah why do life the hard way same thing never mind marriage never mind parenting never mind health yeah that he, he's a perfect example yeah it makes sense to me i mean it reminds me of like uh the reasons to exercise and go to the gym and lift weights it's like if you get underneath the bar and make it difficult on yourself because you are creating you're consciously choosing resistance yeah then on the other side of the struggle is ease yeah. and grace. Yeah. And so, you know, you may have, whether it's your relationship, whether it's in your business, whether it's with a dog, there may be a little bit of work to do up front yeah. on training. There may be some struggle that you want to intentionally choose up front that will make everything else easier. Yeah. And it was the, the story that we talked about of, um, the, you know, the three little pigs. Yeah. Right, the three little pigs. The first, the uh, the first material. What is it? Straw. Yeah. The second one's wood. So the the three little pigs is um, the first pig goes and he builds a house out of straw, and the wolf comes and he blows down the house, and the second one builds the house out of wood, and the and the the wolf comes and he blows the house down, and the third one, he's diligent. He puts every single brick down and makes sure it's perfect, and it takes way longer. And it takes way more work. But at the end, the result was the wolf shows up and he goes to try to blow on this house and it's solid. Yeah. It has the right foundation. Exactly. And so the, the discussion we're having today is about like what areas of your life would actually work. What areas of your life would work if you did a little bit of training if you got a little bit of an education, if you if you intentionally went into it like, let me learn the setup, <laughs> let yeah. me become a professional. Yeah. And as a pro, ease comes, right? Yeah. Like LeBron James doesn't struggle to to, to hit a three pointer or to dunk the ball because he's a professional. He's, he's trained to do that. He's done the training already. Yeah. Right. So what we're saying is that you know we may have uh, I don't know I, I'm not trying to discourage anybody about having a relationship based off a conversation like this yeah. but the reality is there's a flip side of the coin like it can be amazing and it could be horrible and the more you know the more you're trained the more you know about yourself and create this awareness the easier it's going to be for you to go yeah. in there and be successful in it yeah well people say I want this and I, I want to be rich I want to have a good marriage 
They say that. I'm not, I'm not saying it for them. They're saying it. What they don't know is in order to be, why less than 5% of people are ever gonna be rich is because um, the rich are willing to pay the price. They're willing to learn. They're willing to get educated. They're willing to get rejected and fail. They're willing to go through the pain and pay the price to be successful and to be professional at that. And that's true for everything. Uh, people that, that want to dream and fantasize that they're going to be in the perfect relationship out of just falling out of the sky, go ahead. But talk to me in a few years. <laughs>